There's no stars, there's no sun, no time off for anyone. There's no clock on the wall, there's no end to it all. Everyone's on overtime, and there's no overtime. Oh, your book life is weighed on a good band of fighter. Oh, there's much too much to grade for a cynical decider. It's the season finale, so somebody's probably pregnant or whatever. Alrighty, let's see who's next. Hey, Tony, which one's the good one again? Heaven or hell? Yeah, they're both pretty terrible, actually. It's kind of subjective. Oh. Hey, Tony, there's a dog at my desk. What do I do? Did you ask him if he's a good boy? Hey, Tony, we ran out of coffee cups, so I poured some coffee right into my hands. But now I can't type. <laughs> Oh man, these new hires are killing me! Isn't it great? So many fresh faces! Oh, they keep asking me for help, Chad Bradley! Me! You've been here longer, Tony, but of course... Time is irrelevant and has no meaning here! But still, they look up to you! Why are there so many new hires anyway, Chad Bradley? It was probably a recruitment effort. Recruitment? I, I don't follow. You know, if we need to staff up, death causes accidents. Oh, okay, whatever. I guess that makes sense. At office buildings. Wait a second! <laughs> oh, you got your tie stapled to your forehead, buddy! And it doesn't go there! No, of course not! Death! Was I recruited?! Uh, no. Okay, thank God, because, you know, I died in an office building when Everyone I... else in your office was recruited, Tony. You sort of... Uh, came along as part of the package. You know, like when you buy a house and they leave the garden hose behind? Hey, free hose! What the hell, Death? You killed me?! <laughs> You killed me! Whoa, 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 easy there, free hose. You're getting water all over me. You stole my life! Look, when purgatory staff levels fall, I have to replenish the workforce. So I knocked out an office building or two. What big deal? That's mass murder! It's mass merger. We murdered them until they were dead. Screaming bloody merger. I died young and for nothing. It was all meaningless. Uh, your death was plenty meaningful, Tony. Yeah. It means one more mindless drone for your bullshit business! Tony, calm down. Then why do you even need more workers? Nobody ever leaves here, everybody's stuck! Tony, I lose workers all the time! Some of them move on to their afterlife, some of them burst into my office one too many times and go into the soul shredder, there's the soulmate clause, stapler accidents... Wait, 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 soulmate clause? Yes! Occasionally a purgatory worker will be asked to evaluate their soulmate. You know, a spouse, a long lost love, sometimes a sibling. It's not often, but we found that after sending their soulmate off to the afterlife, that worker's productivity dropped to basically zero. So we decided to just let them go. Go where? To the same afterlife as their soulmate. Usually heaven. You know what, Death? You should not have told me that. Now I know I can- Can what, Tony? Find your one true love? Get out of purgatory and go to paradise? Tony, I didn't hide the soulmate clause from you for the same reason I wouldn't hide my car keys from a dog. There's nothing you can do about it. We'll see about that. Stop that. What do you- what, no. Oh hey. man, this is it. I'm finally having a flashback. No. I'm doing it, I'm don't, doing don't it. Don't have a flashback in my office, Tony. Stop it. Tony Pergatelli. Ah! Give me all your money or I'll fill you full of meatballs. Oh, hey, Pamela. Jeez, you got me. Get it, huh? Submachine gun. Oh, yeah, pretty solid sandwich pun. <laughs> I got you good, Tony. Man, this is your fifth sub this week. Uh, yeah, I just really love those sandwiches. And it's only Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, my mother always said uh, three meatball subs a day keeps the doctor away. Of course, you know, she she died when she was 35, so uh, oh. her, her heart exploded right out of her chest. Oh, my. And it was more meatball than heart. Yeah, here you go. You know, if I didn't know any better, I think you were ordering all these sandwiches just to get in my pants. No, oh, no, what? No, I just really like sandwiches. Tony? I, 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 what? I'm fucking with you. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got me again. You're so easy, Tony. I know. Oh! Uh, you better not be flashing back, Tony. I mean it. Oh, oh, God, you did. You just did. Oh, you're all sweaty. Gross. Now I know. Pamela is my soulmate. I don't care. Okay, let's find Pamela. You know, this would go so much more easily if I'd ever asked her last name. There she is. There's my sweet Pamela. 
luck! Oh man, what luck! She's dead! Haha, <laughs> and she's here in purgatory! Wow, that's convenient! And her caseworker is... Oh no... So they cast me out of heaven! An archangel in hell? And for what? Mating with a demon? Uh, oh yeah? So I led an unholy demon army to heaven, yada yada yada! Now I'm stuck here in purgatory! And, uh, so, so I'm going... Huh? Oh, hell. Bye. <sighs> Hello, Tony. Hey, hey, Samuel. Uh, any chance you would mind trading one of your cases with me? Let me guess. Did you find out your long-lost love was in purgatory, and now you want to interview her so you can take advantage of the soulmate clause? Dyke, uh, well, yeah, yes. <laughs> That's exactly what I want to do. Tony... Whoever this woman is, she will destroy you! She will pierce your heart with her crooked horns and stamp all over your balls with her cloven goat hooves! Hey man, your personal experiences with women being actual for real demons seems like it's clouding your judgment. Uh, anyway, her name's Pamela and I need to- Curse you, Brianna! I hope you get cast out of hell and sent to purgatory so we can be together again! <laughs> oh man, you are an emotional roller coaster, Samuel. <laughs> Shut up, Tony! <laughs> oh, oh, Sam! Here comes another flashback! You're gonna do it this time, Tony. You're gonna show Pamela how you feel. Got it all written down so you don't screw it up. Fourteenth time's the charm! It's me, Tony, the Sandwich Crocodile. Oh, uh, what? I'm the sandwich that eats you. <laughs> Got you, Tony. You goofball. You know, when someone buys food for the whole office, they usually do it in one order. Yeah, whole office. Yeah, right. I, I guess I'm just weird and stupid and ugly and short. You're not fat, Tony. Don't even say that. Oh, I never said fat. And you're not weird. You're just peculiar. And that's what makes you interesting. Okay, uh, right. Hey, Pamela, listen, there's something I've been wanting to give you. What is it, Tony? It's, um, it's just, I, I, I want you to know how I feel and, uh... Yes? A tip. Yeah, that, that's it, just that. Just a tip. You did a good delivery. Oh, um, thanks, Tony. <laughs> okay, I'll be seeing you. Yeah, see, seeing you. Thanks. Hey, uh, excuse me, I have some boxes I need to deliver to all the structural weak points of this building. Over that way. Oh, you dropped something. Oh, hey, thanks. Say, uh, between you and me, you might want to take a long lunch today. No thanks, I have 14 sandwiches. Suit yourself. See you soon. To what? So you see, Samael, I never got a chance to tell her how I really- Samael left almost immediately after your flashback started. He's a mess. Poor guy. He left you this client file. Said he was a softie for grand romantic gestures. Shut the fuck up forever, Chad Bradley! I get to interview Pamela! Oh, soulmate, here I come! Hey, Tony. Uh, yeah, what is it, Chad Bradley? You go get her, buddy. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Hi, I'm, uh, Tony Purgatelli. This is Purgatory, and you're dead. Tony? Tony, it's you! You son of a bitch! You never paid me for your last sandwich order! Whoa, whoa, what? My boss accused me of stealing the money! I got fired! You ruined my life! I died penniless in the street because of you! Oh, God, Pamela, no! Tony? <laughs> yeah? Tony? What? I'm fucking with you. Oh, okay, a good one, I guess. You got me. So you're my caseworker? You decide if I go to heaven or hell? Well, I wish I would have brought a meatball sub. Oh, right, because of how I always was in love with sandwiches. Listen, Pamela, th there's a reason you're here with me. Um, I, I, I... I already know, Tony. Oh, you, you do? Of course. You know, Tony, I feel so stupid now. Stupid? Why? I had such a crush on you, Tony. I traded deliveries with my coworkers so I could always be the one to deliver your meatball subs. And I waited for so long for you to ask me out, but you never... I never did. And then, well... I died.
you were sandwiched between the floors of that building. Yeah. You were the meatballs, and the bread was concrete and rebar, and probably asbestos for cheese, maybe. Yeah, just a big old dead sandwich. Listen, Pamela, that's the past. We're both here now, and we can be together. And when you died, I realized something. Life is short, you know? I couldn't keep waiting for what I wanted. I opened my own sandwich shop. I, uh, I called it Purgatelli's. Oh, it's a tribute to me? Well, yeah, and also because it sounded wicked Italian. It was good for business. Oh, Pamela, that sounds really great. I I'm so happy for you, but, but with this, we can finally- One of my repeat customers, he reminded me of you, actually. I asked him out. We dated and then we got married. Pamela, I- We were really soulmates. And we never would have found each other if not for you. Oh, okay. I'm glad I was able to die at a point that it moved your personal narrative forward in a positive direction. So what is it that you have there? What did you want to give me? Oh, uh... It's a comment card. All right. Yeah, just, you know, put down how satisfied or dissatisfied you were with me. Tony Purgatelli. The sweetest, kindest, goofiest, most peculiar, needs to work on his self-confidence, and five stars. No, five meatballs. Thank you, Tony. Oh, sure. No, for everything. What is it, Tony? I'm pretty busy. I'm done. With this conversation? Great. Oh, with all of it. My life sucked. My death sucked, and what I've seen of the afterlife sucks! Put me in the soul shredder! Make me not exist anymore, please! So, your little soulmate clause plan didn't work out so well, did it? You were right. I just want my soul shredded. Tony? Yeah? Tony? What? Hey, Tony? Yes? I made it up! What?! The whole soul shredder thing, Tony! I made it up! To scare you! It's a big-ass coffee grinder! I say stuff just to scare you all the time! Fear seems to be the only thing that motivates you, Tony! I don't even think you can destroy a soul. What, well, you lied?! <laughs> Tony, look at me! I'm a giant skeleton in a black robe and a huge sombrero. What part of all this screams total honesty to you? I'm not your friend, and I'm not your mentor. I'm your boss! And as your boss, it's my job to get some fucking productivity out of you sometimes. Remember when I told you your death wasn't meaningless? Yeah. Do you see what I mean now? Yeah, sort of, I guess. I mean... My death jump-started Pamela's life. My death mattered to her. If you hadn't died, she would have ended up just like you. Alone. Unfulfilled. Probably pushing paper in purgatory. It just doesn't seem fair. Death not fair? Tony, I'm the fairest of them all. I kill everyone the same. Everyone gets one death, guaranteed. Except for those weird jellyfish that live forever. I haven't figured them out yet, but god damn it, I'm coming for them. <laughs> what the fuck do I do now? Go. Back. To work but I'm terrible at this job. Yes, you are, but you're less terrible at it now than you were before. You're getting to know your clients. But I'm more miserable than I've ever been. Well, sure, knowing people sucks. They're complicated and weird. Then they leave, it's the worst. But people leaving can be good. Like how my leaving helped Pamela. No, like you leaving my office. Right now, go, get back to work. Hey, Death, I is there an ending to all this? Maybe. We'll just have to wait a few seasons and see. Seasons? You know, purgatory seasons. Infinite summer, never-ending winter. You know, because time is irrelevant and It has, has no meaning here, yeah. That's right. Now for the last time this season, get out! <laughs> Tony! <laughs> Why is the show over? Why are there no more Purgatory episodes? Well, because we only made a certain amount and then the money ran out, Are so. you saying budgets are finite and animation takes hard work? Yeah, it took a lot of people, Shut too. the fuck! Tony, I need God. a season two. How do we make it happen? I guess everybody could go back and watch the first episode again, and then all of them, and then we could get the views up. What if they tell their friends about it, huh? Yeah, that would work. Maybe if we had high views and like a lot of new people watching it. Like, and then, like millions of people. Yeah, millions and millions, and then yeah. somebody could give us millions of dollars. And Wait a second. Is this a trap to make me have to do more work? Tony, get to it. Oh, Spread the God word. Damn it.